2020 are we excited clearly I'm excited what is up you guys it is 2020 we are back I am back if this is your first video welcome I'm so excited that you decided to click on my video today my name is Gabrielle I also go by Gaby that's my nickname um, here on the channel we are Miss GCH and it has been over a month. I feel so out of practice right now. Like I just stared at the camera smiling like this. I was like, what do I do? What is this? But we're here. I am in good spirits. I am expected. 2020 has been shaking so far. Do you hear me shaking? Like the Lord is just doing all the things and I can't wait to tell you all about it. But also before we get into the nitty gritty, I really feel like I have some explaining to do, um, a little apologizing to do or something. And I know a lot of y'all are gonna say, you don't owe us any apologies, your channel, you do what you want, stop apologizing. I know, but I still feel slightly, slightly obligated to apologize to you guys because I just disappeared. Like, honestly, if you've been following my channel for a while, December might have freaked you out just a little bit, okay? Because I don't know what happened. December was so weird like it was so weird the channel was booming we were doing great like i mean we were averaging 400 to a thousand on our videos back to back like we were just kicking it we were vibing and then i think i just came in like a wrecking ball in december and just broke it all up i broke up the energy i broke up the vibe i don't know what i was doing i was i don't know y'all I don't know what I was doing. I was confusing myself to the point where I got myself in such a tizzy, just confusion, like what channel is this? Who am I? What is a Miss GCH? That I literally just told myself enough, okay, enough. And that's when I hit y'all with the, I gotta go. I'm sorry to dip out and ruin the plans. Actually something really personal in my life happened around that same time too. But I use that as my excuse for like, you know what, maybe this is just not supposed to happen like this, this December. So I gave up. I just gave up and I took a break. And you know what, I don't regret that. It was an excellent decision. Um, a lot of lessons I learned about trying to do Christmas content or Vlogmas content or 12 days of Christmas content, Christmas content in general, December content, was that you really have to plan that. Um, and I. I think I knew that, but I didn't take myself seriously. And so before I went back in my hometown for the holidays, I was supposed to have recorded all of my videos pretty much, except for like the few that I was gonna do with people in Akron. I was gonna have everything done and out the way so that all I have to do is edit and upload. Well, I got a little distracted and got a little, you know, comfortable in the fact that the semester was over when I was here still in Columbus. So I didn't really take the time to record everything that I said I wanted to record. I had some stuff, but not everything. So I ended up taking my ring light home to my parents' house, telling myself that I was going to record videos there. No, absolutely not. It didn't happen. First of all, when you're in town, people want to do things. It's the holidays. And I realized I was spending hours at a time in my room planning. I was spending time in there recording or trying to record. Then people would come in my room and uh, disturb me or distract me from the video. So now I have to start over or I have to try to recollect my thoughts. All the things that don't happen when I'm here alone in my apartment. And I wanted to be mad, but then it was like, this is the holidays, like you're with your family. Um, and I actually watched some YouTubers talk about that, like December content, you have to really gauge it because you don't want to take away time from your family. Like this is time when memories should be made and all that jazz. So I learned that lesson quick and it was just too hard. And even the videos that I did put out that I recorded at my parents' house, both of them were a flop because I just, I wasn't comfortable enough in my space to really record 
for people to hear my raw footage of me like messing up that was a lot of pressure like imagine recording this YouTube video with an audience like unless you're prepared for that and it's a live situation it's really awkward and like I said the distraction stuff so blah 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 anyways regardless it was a flop it didn't work I will I have learned the lesson and I'm just really excited about where we're headed and I really feel like I have clarity about where I'm going um that experience honestly taught me like first of all stay true to yourself stay true to your audience and to yourself um trying to be other people like I watch a lot of big youtubers I was just watching everybody else and comparing myself and feeling like I have to go do all of these things so I have a really cool like Christmas set up and it was just like no I should have just stayed in my lane like I know what works I knew what videos you all were looking forward to seeing so why was I trying to give y'all things that both of us really weren't into I just was trying to create things yeah learn that lesson guys so thank you all for sticking with me so now that we've explained what went down with that I want to take some time to look back at 2019 like I say a thousand times there's a whole lot of content you're not seeing if you don't follow me on Instagram um, so if you do you've already seen some of my different ways of recapping on the decade and on 2019 I actually want to do both in this video um, as quickly as I possibly can <laughs> also sorry if you hear obnoxious barking in the background I have a new neighbor underneath me and their dogs are literally on crack well it's just one guy and his dogs the two of them are on crack and I'm just that's just that on that but y'all I am really mind blown that a whole decade has gone by like a whole decade I am shook obviously now that I'm 25 almost 26 I've lived clearly more than one decade but the previous decade, I, I can remember it, but there was no way to really capture it. Like, social media didn't really hit in my life until 2007, I think, is when I created my Facebook. Before that, I did have MySpace, but it wasn't like, it wasn't the same. Like, it, it wasn't an archive type situation. At least it wasn't for me. But considering the fact that this last decade was 2010 to now, so I was 16 years old when the decade started, well, 15 going on 16, and I was a sophomore in high school, and now I am a almost PhD graduate. Um, it's just crazy. Like this last decade, y'all, was insane. It was insane. And when I describe it, I was just telling people that like God really showed me what I'm capable of in the season, but more so what he's capable of through me. Like looking back, I almost couldn't believe that this is my life. But there were literally albums and pictures and photos and just everything all the way back to 2010. So I could literally go back through and almost relive my entire life for the last decade, which was kind of crazy. And so I was looking back on these pictures and remembering like where I was in those times and just it's crazy y'all it was again like God showing me like I've placed you where I have you on purpose like this is not a joke this is not a game in case you thought I was joking about this like no you're on assignment and I was like okay God okay whoa oh my I just guys just was blowing my mind in the meantime I was building relationships with people and was able to mentor women and give back and I was just like mind blown like I really feel like you guys when I look back on it I think I was just walking purely by faith honestly because I don't like when I think back it's almost overwhelming it's almost like is this real life like is this real life into 2019 I finished up my PhD coursework and then I did candidacy over the summer y'all know the drama that that was um but ended up writing 117 pages for my candidacy document turned that in for the written exam did the oral exam passed that turned into a candidate and then worked on the first three chapters of my dissertation submitted that for a proposal and did an oral proposal of that and that was accepted back in what was that no November so I don't even know if I told you guys about that but yeah I submitted the first three chapters of my dissertation did the oral and it was accepted by my committee so y'all it's been a whirlwind truly a whirlwind oh and by the way in 2019 I started the year as a almost 25 year old that had never been kissed never been in a relationship nothing and then less than two months after my birthday I had a whole boy friend had been kissed and as I said at the time in a whole relationship like which again if you don't know how monumental that is I will also link that video because 
you need to get caught up, okay? It was monumental. So, yeah, guys, like, ee, ooh. And that's all the highlight stuff. Um, something that I put on my story, um, and I always try to include because it's so easy for us to do the highlights and the good stuff and like, ooh, look at me, I did all these things. But y'all, when I tell you, there are so many tears and trying moments and, oh, almost give ups and seasons of depression and I mean seasons like months on end um I started therapy over this decade amen I also have major 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 can we just say major heartbreak I mean I'm talking church hurt I'm talking ghosted I'm talking uh friends lost I'm talking like loss, okay? Um, but it was all woven into the story, you guys, and I'm telling you, I know they say hindsight is 2020, and that's corny because 2020 vision, but let me tell you, hindsight is 2020, and so many of the questions that I had, like, Lord, what the heck are you doing, have been answered to a T. So I just thank God for this decade. I thank God that I could reflect like I was able to so that I had a clear vision about where I was going. And I just feel so clear about this year, you guys. Like I just feel so clear. There is so much revelation that God has given me in these last like two-ish weeks of um, 2020. I can't even begin to tell you guys and it's so much that I'm saving it for a whole different video um, I'm actually on the Daniel fast right now with transformation church but also many churches that I know and love around the world are all doing the Daniel fast from the 6th to the 26th or around that time 21 days and um, I just I've never done it before and it has changed the game for me so much about life is just changing the game right now you guys and i promise you i will fill you in on that later when i do a whole separate video at the end of the fast just telling you guys what happened and yeah what god is speaking and what god is doing i'm just telling you please strap on your seat belts for 2020 like i just can't even begin to tell you this year is going to be so um it already is so amazing but like god has given me sneak peek views like just previews into what he has up his sleeve this year and i'm just blown like you guys i'll be defending my dissertation at some point this year. I will be somebody's whole doctor by the end of the year. Like, can we just, can we just? That's only one of the things that I'm talking about. Like, that's not even, that's not even this, just God be doing, God be doing, okay? And I feel like this is a year of answered prayers because he's already answering them. He's already answering them and I'm just excited. I was debating about whether I should do a montage of some of our favorite highlight moments from this past year. So if I decide to do that, it'll go right here. So check this out. This is hilarious. Real friends. Real friends hold the light for your, for your, look at this. Please look at everyone in formation. Uh oh. Real friends. Real friends. This double light going on here. Many of us, God's begging us, let me have it, and we will not release. We won't stop holding it because we found protection in it. But we keep building all of these walls, and what we realize is the thing that we built to protect us now has us trapped in. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. The cell that of Montgomery March every year often made the usher passing out programs. Hello. Hello, everyone. I know what I look like. Love me through it. Work with me. Okay, I just had to come on here as documentation of the fact that as of, well, okay, a few hours ago, but as of moments ago, your girl just submitted all 117 pages, 28,300 words of her doctoral candidacy. Ta-da! 
my gosh you guys this is it it's done it's finito period period <laughs> sorry i'm still a little a little shook gonna say I'm annoying and extra and I need to just shut up and I don't care because I'm just so excited guys I'm so nervous but I'm so excited I just feel so ready it's my first poster look it's my name that's me that's me Because when you know something is yours and you know something's on the other side of something and you don't get an answer the first time, you come back to that thing. Most of us pray one time, like, well, I guess God didn't want to do it. You didn't pray, you wished. Yes, they do. <laughs> Hey, 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 go! Life is a highway, I wanna ride it all night long. <laughs> Our destiny 
liberties and our freedoms are tied. His voice and not the validation of social media that the Lord will find you craving for his presence and not the approval of other people. I want the Lord to find us so desperate for his spirit and not the attention of this world. The girls have come out. The girls! The girls are out for the birthday. Ah, hi, Jim. Hi, Kim. <laughs> Have a mac and he using this lettuce. Uh, explain yourself. <laughs> Hurry up! Oh! Look at Auntie Vlog. She vlogging, y'all. <laughs> she vlogging. She out here getting everything Jamaica would let her have over the last year. This girl. Who let this happen? How did I end up in a random program? So I just finished the preface in chapter one. I'm already shook. I'm just like, the way she uses the English language to describe And with just recapping like how amazing you all are and just say thank you to my YouTube family I'm so excited about where we're headed but like I will take a moment to just say thank you for what it's already been like 2019 was the biggest year for my channel obviously we launched in 2018 so that first year was amazing if you haven't seen my one-year recap of the channel definitely go check that out but um yeah, the second year was just, I mean, we peaked. We're already at 2.61K, and the anniversary is not even until February 25th. So you all have been growing exponentially, which is just so humbling for me. Uh, we've got like almost 275,000 views on the channel. Like, y'all, what? The fact that that many people have tuned in to see the content that got places on my heart to share with you all is amazing. It's just amazing. And even when I'm bogged down with school and have other things going on and don't get around to posting, you guys are here waiting for the next post. You always reach out in my DM showing love, showing encouragement. Like, it's just really honestly so humbling for me to be able to use this platform this way, but even far beyond what I ever envisioned that it could be. Thank you for y'all just being dope.
and being so loyal and yeah I just love it the last thing I want to plug for 2020 is the fact that I am giving new life to my blog I'm keeping the same format but I'm adding new content I'm changing the way that I put content on there I honestly stopped posting on that last May but I really love the blog it has a special place in my heart and it's actually what got me started before YouTube so check out mishdch.com if you've never checked it out make sure you check it out there will be new blogs and new content very very soon actually as of next week um so hurry up and go if you want to subscribe so that you can get email notifications when I post new things go ahead and do that i really hope you all enjoy this video i'm so happy to be back i'm so happy to be back in my apartment recording okay so that we can just do this and do it right i'm super excited you guys i am so looking forward to what's coming this year i hope you are too if you're excited drop down in the comment section that's one thing we're gonna work on in 2020 okay because y'all talk on certain videos but like i like having conversations with y'all so jump down in the comment section if you made it through this video and if you're excited about what's to come make sure you're subscribed turn on that notification bell because I want to make sure you get notified when I post new videos and yeah you just don't want to miss out on what's coming so yeah with all that said I hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video bye